Well, it's arrived. Came through the post this morning. <laughs> Final diagnosis of my little problem. Hormonal imbalance. Uh, now, in layman's terms, it just means you don't lay eggs. Um, <laughs> not to EEC standards anyway, that's what they said. Um, but it is an exciting time to be ill, uh, with all these trendy new diseases to choose from. See, at first I thought I had ME, you know, yuppie, flu. Um, in fact, I said to my doctor, I said, do I have ME? And he said, how much do you earn? So I said, uh, well, I told him, and he said, no, you just run down, actually. <laughs> I asked him for some tests, but being the NHS, he couldn't promise me an e immediate appointment date. Uh, but he did seal my notes in a time capsule and bury it under his floor. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I didn't give up. I asked for a second opinion, and I got one, actually. Um, from one of the cleaners, uh, which was reassuring. Of course, the thing about hormonal imbalance is that to redress it, they have to give you more hormones. Um, I don't know where they get them from. I'm not sure I want to know, actually. <laughs> no, they told me they, they came from Switzerland, from the laboratories of Roche International. <laughs> but personally, I think they get them from some sheep's ass in Cumbria. Or something. <laughs> well, having duck egg syndrome means you get a bit emotional at meal times, and an egg salad can be a complete ordeal to eat Christmas um, omelette. Well, my heart goes out to the parents, really. Um, of course, my boyfriend was very good about my illness. Oh, yes, he painted a cross on my door and burned all my clothes. <laughs> then he came out in sympathy, claiming his own hormonal imbalance. Uh, so he went to see a specialist. Well, I say specialist. Uh, Barbara, actually. Because <laughs> no, he confirmed the terrible truth, um, you know, that he had new pate syndrome. <laughs> well, I'd call it baldness, but what do I know? <laughs> and that his hormones and his hair were redistributed to create that sort of gorilla suit that covers his body. But we won't go into that. <laughs> of course, the trouble with a trendy illness is that soon everybody has it, but it goes down market. So I'm going to do what I do with all my old stuff and pass it on to my cleaning lady. <laughs> she was then so thrilled last year when I gave her Legionnaire's disease. <laughs> it was the first decent infection she'd had since VE night. <laughs> Life is for a little happiness, isn't it? Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.